Seven power struggle. A Dunedin woman is fighting her electric company after discovering somebody was stealing her power. The suspected culprit is locked up, but she's still stuck with the bill. Good evening, I'm Brendan McLaughlin. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. First tonight, our Jacqueline Inglace joins us live in the newsroom with this unusual story. And Jacqueline, she claims her neighbor used a weed whacker to pull this off. Wendy, that's right. And investigators tell us that 27-year-old Matt Sanders never had the electricity in his home turned on, but has been running up his neighbor's bill since June. This plug was like plugged in there, but when I found it, it was out. Instead, this orange extension cord buried under leaves was plugged in. It ran from Lauren Marola's Dunedin home into her next door neighbor's window. And even like tried to camouflage it with this broke down weed eater. Like, who does that? Marola says she noticed her power would flicker on and off, but never suspected she was being ripped off. When she found the cord, she called sheriff's deputies. Just as they got to her home Thursday, so did her electric bill. It was 170 was my previous month, and now it's 292. Deputies say Marola's neighbor, 27-year-old Matt Sanders, never had his power connected when he moved in, and was likely siphoning power from Marola since mid-June. I have overheard them talking about they don't have power in their house, but I hear their AC is on all the time. Sanders was arrested Thursday night and is now facing petty theft charges. But Marola is stuck paying the bill, money the single mom says she simply cannot spare. It might not be a lot of money to some people, but for me to be held accountable, that's a lot of money. Marola did call Progress Energy and customer service representatives told her she's still responsible for the entire bill. Progress Energy representatives told me over the phone they are willing to work out a payment plan with Marola, but they will not excuse this bill. They say that if Marola wants her money back, she's going to have to take Sanders to court. Brendan and Wendy, 